Hundreds of millions of years ago, many extraterrestrial races discovered our solar system, and Earth became a location of interest for many of them. Not only was it wanted for its resources, but for many, it was decided that Earth would be a location for genetic experimentation and learning in lower dimensions. The Draconian Orion Empire, though they did not entirely conquer Earth at first because there were too many other races involved, began to genetically alter humans in order to stop them from accessing higher consciousness, and also to make them more aggressive and spread the Draconian ideology and DNA. At that point in time, Earth was a five-dimensional planet, which for many extraterrestrials is considered a low dimension. Originally, the plan was for Earth, aka Gaia, to ascend up through the dimensions herself and take the human race with her. However, after many years of conflict on Earth and experimentation that went against the natural order, a cataclysm occurred, causing Earth to fall into the third dimension where we are currently. After this, while the 3D human race that we now know evolved and became established on Earth, the Draconian Orion Empire, as well as many other negative alien groups, were heavily involved in our development for a specific reason. A being who is ascending is able to sustain itself infinitely by having a symbiotic relationship with Source. Because the Draconians and many other negative aliens refuse to live in loving co-creation and refuse to respect free will and the law of one, there are consequences. After acquiring a massive amount of karma and not doing any work to heal it, a being's own light codes and DNA become damaged. Their relationship with Source is destroyed and their consciousness begins to fall down through the dimension. One who has fallen can no longer have symbiotic relationships and must instead become a parasite, aka an energy vampire. It is possible to feed off other beings' energies without violating their free will, which is why the negative aliens manipulated humans into building a 3D energy harvesting prison matrix, where we would be unaware of our potential beyond this dimension and unaware that we were willingly giving away our energy to the oppressors through systems such as capitalism. Such a thing would not have been possible on 5D Earth. However, to even achieve this in 3D, the negative aliens had to do more experimentation on humans against their will. Use many types of invasive technology, including false memory implants, implants to block certain chakras, and various other tactics to stop us from realizing our potential and that our consciousness is being suppressed. This continuous violation of human free will has caused many of those beings to descend further and further until they could no longer incarnate above the third dimension, forcing them to live in human bodies and become the oppressed rather than the oppressor. However, this caused those beings to become disconnected from their galactic family and lose their past memories, therefore giving them an opportunity to form a new identity as a being who chooses to heal their karma, respect free will, rebuild their DNA, and ascend. Because the Earth in this 3D state does not have the power to ascend itself, many beings of other star races began to drop down into human bodies in order to anchor higher frequencies to the Earth in the hopes of helping the planetary collective consciousness break free from the Matrix. There are no external alien forces coming to save us, and there are no external alien forces working against us, because we are the 3D incarnations of those higher dimensional beings. We are the Lyrans, Draconians, Syrians, Pleiadians, Arcturians, Anunnaki, Demons, Angels, Dragons, and God. And we've been playing out this same conflict in this same galaxy for billions of years now. However, I do believe that this time there will be a more desirable outcome. And part of the reason for that is that many beings who used to belong to negative alien agendas, once they fell down to the third dimension, they decided to change their polarity and are now on the positive path and helping with the collective ascension. Thank you for watching!